Peter Del Pena here with USA Fast Bowlers Tara Norris and Sarah Farouk after another victory today over Brazil on day four of the ICC America's T20 World Cup qualifier. Congratulations again on the victory. Thank you very Thank much. You. First, I'll start with you, Sarah, player of the match today, taking three wickets for eight ones, career best. Tell us what's going through your mind. Well, I've been working a lot on my action, just making sure that I'm consistent through my line. So today my focus was just to execute uh, the plans that we have, so uh, to keep it simple, really. I heard you talking before at the Player of the Match presentation, and you mentioned Bert Cockley. For people who don't know, Bert is a former uh, Sheffield Shield fast bowler in Australia and now is working with the U.S. setup as strength and conditioning coach. But even though that's his official title, he's got an awful lot to offer besides that in terms of fast bowling, which was his specialty as a, as a player. What in particular are some of the things that he has tried to impart to you and some of the other fast bowlers that has helped you improve your game? Yeah, he definitely has a lot of experience so that, you know, by talking to him it helps. So for me particularly, he's helped with the uh, power through the crease and um, still work to be done, but it, just to really streamline that front arm and then getting the hip through and powering through. So, Taras, I guess same question to you, even though you've got a lot of experience and help in terms of your development and the structures in Sussex to work now with somebody different and Bert, what are some of the newer things that he has shown you in the short time you've been able to work with him? Yeah, Bert's brilliant. Um, I really enjoy working with him from an S&C point of view and a, and a bowling point of view. Um, for him, yeah, I think talking to any Aussie fast bowler is brilliant. Um, he's got a lot of experience behind him. So for me, yeah, we've been working on just getting through the crease and especially in this wicket when it's a little bit sticky, trying to bowl as full as possible. Um, but yeah, he's been, he's been brilliant. You mentioned the wicket. It's changed, at least from the boundary, it looks like it's changed quite significantly from day one to now. How have you adjusted your lengths and your variations as the tournament has progressed? I know, it seems to change every day. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think for us, it's trying to be as adaptable as quick as possible and, and read the pitch as quickly as we can. Uh, for the games where we've batted first, we can assess it a bit easier so the bowlers know what we have to do when we know how the wicket's playing. Uh, when we've bowled first, it's trying to work out how the wicket's playing. If it's a little bit sticky, if it skids on. Today, it actually played pretty well. Um, so yeah, trying to be as adaptable as we can and, and really just be as quick as we can and proactive um, and where's best to bowl. Same question for you, Sarah. How have you adjusted your bowling style depending on how the wicket has changed over the course of the week? Uh, for me, it was not... Uh, I don't use, utilize the short ball like Tara does, so it was pretty not a lot of change so I wanted to keep my lens consistent I wasn't getting as much swing as I usually get and in other environments I don't know if that has something to do with the altitude so I had to adapt and make sure that I wasn't going down the leg side and so if it's not swinging that I need I'm still targeting the middle and off stump and outside off but keeping it full so the batters are playing and not giving them any freebies it's all right you came in a little bit earlier than you have in previous matches today, and you played a valuable knock. It was a short knock, but a crucial knock in the context of the game. Compared to your role in England, whether in franchise cricket or in county cricket, how have you adapted your batting to suit the needs of the team compared to where you would bat in England? Um, I think the role isn't too dissimilar. Uh, my role in, back in England is probably a little bit lower down the order and yeah, trying to get us to a, to a decent target in T20 particularly. Um, so for, the, for today it was pretty much the same. Um, obviously I still had a few overs to bat so uh, the plan was to stay in as long as possible and, and rotate the strike and then try and go hard at the end. Um, that was the plan. Obviously the plan doesn't always go to work. Um, so yeah, today it's about trying to be an anchor for this group but also yeah, trying to be ruthless at the end and, and try and get, hit those boundaries at the end. The Brazil team and the Brazil players have brought a different energy, a different attitude that looks like it has been infectious for all the teams this week, whether here or even back at the team hotel. It seems like everybody's mixing and mingling and off the field everybody's getting along quite well. Um, but at the post-match presentation and even afterward, a lot of the players were interacting and taking pictures with each other and whatnot. What has the tournament atmosphere been for you interacting with them and specifically with, with the Brazil team? Let's start with you, Sarah. Yeah, so COVID doesn't make things easy, but, you know, the Brazilians, they've always been great. I played with them in 2012, a long time ago, and uh, they always had this energy. And, you know, before the game, they're good. In the game, they're 
you know, competitive and after the game they're they're fun to hang out with. So that's what I told them that we need to hang out and it's they do have this crazy energy on the field. They have a really good fielding side and um, you know, you just try to replicate that and and yeah, no, I agree. I just echo that there. They're, honestly, their energy is infectious um, and they're brilliant to play against. Really good sportsmanship and um, they've developed so much. I think from the first game, um, even even more so, like they're a brilliant bowling side. Um, and yeah, it's brilliant what Brazil cricket are doing with their contracted players. So yeah, brilliant girls and really, really infectious energy. They're good fun. I would just add like R Roberta, she, I've played with her in can -Am a couple of times. And so I've played with her on the same team and she brings that you know, nice positive vibe and it's really good. So I would love to play with her any fun tournament if I could, so. And they bring the tambourine as well, which is crucial. <laughs> yes. Tambourine is hilarious. You can hear it anywhere on the field. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> on the US side, the energy that the younger players, the teenagers are bringing, especially the partnership with Gargi Bogle and Aniku Kalan today, their energy, their speed between the wickets, their aggressiveness and the projection that that puts on the other team's earns the attitude and the intent. What kind of impact does that have in terms of the mentality and the overall approach to the squad as a whole when you see the two of them running between the wickets the way they did? Yeah, I think those guys were exceptional today. They put a big partnership on and I think that's the kind of cricket we want to play. Obviously, if we can progress that over the 20 overs, that'd be brilliant and, and get a, good, a decent score. Um, but yeah, they just played positive cricket. It was nothing high risk. It was it was good shots. It was positive running um, and putting pressure on the fielders, which is what I think, again, that's the statement we want to make when we go out to bat. We really want to be ruthless with the bat um, and yeah, and, and make all the team scared. Yeah, I think I couldn't agree more with Tara that it's a uh, the, the, watching the two of them bat was really good and they were taking the quick singles or converting the ones into twos and um, and th you could see the other players also talking like hey yeah this is what I need to do too and um, it's it's really brilliant. Sarah for you specifically since you reference you're one of the most senior veterans in this team been in the right. team a while the newer players whether it's Tara or some of the other newer players there's a different vibe a different attitude that I notice, and I'm sure a lot of other people notice when they look on the web stream or they're here in person, there's something very, very different about this team that is exciting to watch. When you think back to the previous teams that you've been a part of compared to this tour in particular, what do you think stands out the most in terms of your previous experiences compared to the energy that you are a part of now in the field? So I think one of the things definitely is the fitness level. Like it stands out that, you know, the group definitely has improved in terms of fitness. And uh, you can see that on the field, a little bit off the field as well when we're doing our strength and conditioning. So, and th that also resonates with energy. So it, I wouldn't say that the previous groups were like completely there, but it's just, you know, there's a certain level of elevation that this group has. So. That's really great to see. It also pushes me and continue to improve my fitness and uh, continue to work on my things. So, yeah. 4 0 now, two matches to go. You got one more against Canada and one more against Argentina. What would it mean to both of you? Again, I'll start with you, Sarah, to go 6 0 and finish this tournament undefeated. Oh, I think we're in a very good position to do that. And we have the bowling attack and the batting power to completely take that. So, and it would be, uh, and we have to, so it would mean the world to answer. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think um, what's exciting is we've not even played our best cricket yet. We're bowling brilliantly, but I think with the bat, if we're being brutally honest, um, we're probably underperforming. So I think if we can get one good game where, you know, we hit a big score and someone really steps up, then um, and then we win 6-0, that would be really good. But yeah, definitely to win 6-0 would be brilliant. Um, just that one big score we need, for sure. Anything else either one of you wants to say about today's performance? I think we're the team, everyone is contributing and it's been great and uh, we all know that this is, yes, this is the America's qualifier, we have another qualifier in a few weeks and we're really trying to execute our bowling plans, for example, and uh, make sure that we, even the mistakes that we're making that we're getting away with here, we, we need to just work on that and make sure that we're a stronger team and a stronger unit when we go to the next level in Zimbabwe. So. But the, the, I think the energy and the group, everything's just great and we're really trying to just improve. Every game, the team has improved, if you look at it. No, I agree, and I think this competition is, for us is about making a statement as well. We want to go into the qualifiers with as much confidence as possible. So yeah, winning 6-0, just to prove a bit of a point to uh, the rest of the teams and, and go in with loads of momentum going forward. Yeah, it'll be brilliant.